For the pencil's body, you need a type of wood that's soft enough to sharpen, yet strong enough not to bend under the writer's hand pressure. This German pencil factory uses cedar from California. The wood is 0.2 inches thick and arrives pre-cut in slats of seven by two and a half inches. One by one, the slats pass under a giant cutting wheel. It carves grooves that will become the channel down the middle that holds the lead. The next machine fills the grooves with glue, a special formulation that's slightly elastic. This cushions the lead so that it's less likely to break inside the channel. Every second slat moves on to another conveyor belt. The ones that stay on this line head toward the machine that lays in the lead. The lead is made of a graphite and clay mixture, baked in an oven at almost 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. The lead laying machine's wheel loads itself with leads, their spacing matching the grooves in the slats. Now for the slats that move to that other conveyor belt. An automated arm flips each one over, slides it across a glue applicator, then drops it onto a leaded slat on the other conveyor belt. All the steps to this point have culminated in what is effectively a lead sandwich. Now a plunger squeezes those sandwiches together with a full ton of pressure. It compresses them for an hour while the glue dries. After that, it's just a matter of slicing the sandwiches into pencils. This shaping machine makes the hexagonal profile in two steps. First, its upper cutter forms three sides on top, then its lower cutter shapes three sides on the bottom. As soon as the bottom side is cut, the pencils separate. Now it's time to dress that bare wood. One at a time, the pencils shoot through a device called a lacquering head. It coats the wood in paint, yellow in this case. Last stop, the rubber tip assembly machine. First, it squeezes the top of the pencil to slide on an aluminum ferrule. Then it inserts a rubber eraser into the ferrule's other end and squeezes that tight. The pencils are finally ready to roll across a grinding drum for sharpening. By the time they roll off, they're pointed perfection.